there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these goodies from Lawn Fawn. The gorgeous new Woodland Critter Huggers dies and the stitched gift card pocket. Now I'm showing you here a printout that I found online and it's going to help me make these little Critter Hugger dies into Australian animals. Ever since I bought them, that's what I've wanted to do. I um, made a raccoon and a chipmunk following the directions that you get um, on the Lawn Fawn site and I gave them to my kids for Christmas and they loved them. They're 23 and 22, my children, and they just thought that they were a lot of fun and they really enjoyed receiving them and admiring them. So how fabulous that, you know, these will appeal to all ages. But being an Aussie girl as I am, I was really keen to transform them into three of my favourite Australian animals. So I went online and I looked at some cartoon images of a kangaroo, a koala and a wombat. And then I printed out the one that I liked the most and here we go getting some inspiration from those cartoon images. So first of all, as you can see, it's the koala. Now the grey cardstock I've used is just some that I had in my stash, so I'm sorry I can't actually name it. I think it's a basil one going by the texture, but I'm not definite about that. Um, and the other cardstock I've used today is just bits that I've had in my stash, um, in my scrap box, or it's Stampin' Up cardstock. I know I particularly use Stampin' Up for the kangaroo and the rest I can't really tell you, I'm sorry. But anyway, find some cardstock colors that you need, like gray, browns, and, and you're good to go, really. Um, of course, gray for the koala, and as you can see here, he needed to have fluffy ears. So I used a circle die, and I cut the large gray ears, and then I made them fluffy by just cutting some little, um, what would you call them? Spiky bits around the edge of the ears. And then I use the smaller circle die in that stack. And I'm gonna do the same, just cut some little um, spiky bits, fluffy bits around the edge there. And we end up with some nice, cute, fluffy ears for our koala. So I do that with both of the white circles and lay them all down, make sure that they look okay together. And then he looks better when he's got his eyes and his nose and everything in place. You will have seen I cut the nose from uh, the little uh, cheek bits that are in the die set. And I just cut it down, gave one of the cheeks um, sort of a flat edge and that became his nose. And that's what I tend to do with these three animals today. I use bits that are in the die set already, if I can, and I just sort of transform them or cut them a different way to suit the Aussie animals. So the little feet are the same, and I'm just getting everything now stuck into place. And then I'll be able to work out what my little koala is going to hold on to. So just using a liquid glue, using the applicator bottle there, just the fine tip so you can get it exactly where you want it, and adhering his ears behind his rounded head there, which you would have seen, would have seen me cut off earlier. I just thought uh, he needed to have that rounded shape. It certainly suited him better. And I just kept looking back at that example page that I had printed out from the site online. And that just was giving me ideas whenever I wasn't too sure what I was going to do. And you'll see for each animal I do add just a little accent to the eyes with a gel pen. Now this, 
you do need to cut two each time because I'm making mine into gift card holders. So I've got the little stitched gift card pocket as I told you in the beginning and that will go inside. So I'm making it like a little stand up card just like I made for my kids for Christmas. I made a raccoon for my son and a chipmunk for my daughter. You can see them on my blog if you haven't already and they love them even though they're big kids now they did they loved them so back to this cutting the shape there so that I'll be able to stick the back on and then I'll grab my score pal and you just need to work out where you're going to score it so that you can fold it and so that it will open like a little card. So grab the score pal, just a little section at the top, just score along there so that will fold easily. And I'll put liquid glue right up at the top there, as you see, and then line up the front with that piece and then allow it to dry. Now here is the little stitched gift card pocket which fits perfectly onto the Critter Hugger. So as I said I'm putting mine inside so I'm just folding it along its score lines, adding my liquid glue and then opening up my little Critter Hugger card and sticking the gift card pocket inside. I'll grab some acrylic blocks and pop them on there just to hold it all in place while it dries. Now with that done it's time to work out what I'm going to have my koala holding and I wanted him to have a little spray of gum leaves so that's what they are supposed to be <laughs> and I thought I'd just punch out a different shaped heart. You do get a heart with the Critter Hugger dies, but I just wanted a larger one and as you can see there I used an old punch that I had. Now we're moving on, this is the Stampin' Up! cardstock and we're moving on to the Kangaroo. So again you will cut two, one for the front and one for the back. And I had a lot of trouble working out the ears here. You'll see first of all I used the chipmunk tail and I cut it down to make fairly small ears but I wasn't happy with them. Then I thought that the arms on the second die cut that you don't need, that you cut off anyway, I thought that I could shape them as you see me doing here to make longer ears and that they would work better for a kangaroo. And I just folded them over a little bit at the uh, tips there. Then I'm using the little bit from the chipmunk tail, I'm using that to cut little pink inserts for the ears and they will get stuck down in the centre and I'll just shape those ears a little bit better around the uh, pink fluffy inner portion and they do tend to work a bit better. I did struggle, this was the part of these three animals that took me the longest today just sorting out these ears. I just couldn't quite get them right but in the end I was fairly happy with how they looked. So trying them again making sure that they look right and then getting his tummy, his fluffy tummy in place and I just left the feet the same. You could alter them if you wanted to but I didn't and here's the tail. I'm just shaping it, drawing on it where I'm going to cut to make it more suitable for a kangaroo. Cut off that piece that I don't need and then I'll be able to add a little, little bit of glue and stick it onto the back. Again we need the jelly roll pen for the eyes and then I'm adding two of the sweet little flowers for the kangaroo to be holding on to.
and lucky last is the little wombat. So a different colour brown cardstock this time and again you will need to cut two of them and pretty much to begin with he I didn't alter anything at the moment and then I thought how am I going to make him into a wombat and this is a photo of a wombat that my husband took and I remembered the big teeth uh, we met those wombats down in Tasmania they were fantastic and so I thought I'll alter the little ear portions cut them down and make two little teeth so that's what I did then I'm just hand cutting a little bit of spiky grass because wombats pretty much just eat 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 grass all day <laughs> or when they come out at night and I'm just adding a little bit of grass into his paws there and the heart from the critter hugger die set stick that in place and there you have my wombat to join his mates the koala and the kangaroo